What's up, YouTube? All right, today I'm going to come back at you with a, a pretty special MRE we got right here. It's a strange one, something I've never seen before. Made by Senpak out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And it's a menu number 12 cheese tortellini. I know what you're saying. Menu number 12 cheese tortellini. I've heard of that a hundred times. Well, this one is a KH entree only, which the only thing I can figure maybe means kosher halal. And maybe this was the first attempt MRE at a kosher halal meal. You can see that there on the package. There's a date code right up here of 5291. You can see that. And there's a 5 right there. So we'll get to explore this unknown MRE together. I say we crack into this thing and figure out what's going on with it. We've taken a good look at the package here. Made by Sinpack. Alright, without further ado, let's get this thing cracked open. It's got the peelable seal on top. And it peeled pretty easy. And there's inside. Alright, we'll take our contents out. Okay. We got our empty bag. It smells alright in there. I don't smell anything weird coming out of there. Alright, here's our cheese tortellini and tomato sauce. Kosher and halal. Thermostabilized. How about that? That's interesting. Very cool. Check that out. And this is a 1995, guys. Check that out. This is actually the first tan bag. This is amazing. I'm shaking. I can't even believe this. Check this out, guys. Look at it's G. Schultz. Like the original G. Schultz symbol. Check out the date code on that. 5264. I'm just, I'm dumbfounded. I can't believe this thing is a 1995. This is so awesome. All right. This is great. All right. We'll keep going down. Here's our crackers. Just says crackers. We have peanut butter. That's a really cool looking package. Check that out. Thermo pack. Stone Mountain, Georgia. Need package before opening. Here's our brown MRE spoon. Okay, here we have beverage base powder, and it is cherry flavored, 5135, and here we have, it says lemon, 5172 on that, okay, lemon pound cake, water activity stabilized, from Sterling Foods, alright, and here we have our accessory packet. We'll check that out here in a second. And we have another box of applesauce. Awesome. Four and a half ounces of applesauce. And remember this is our kosher halal meal. The first one ever made. I'm assuming this is absolutely the first tan bag I've ever seen. As I can say again, 1995 should have been a dark brown bag like these packages right here. But we had tan bag this is just awesome this is an unexplored mre i don't think anyone's ever checked out one of these before but we'll get our contents laid out and we'll see what all we get in a kosher halal menu number 12 cheese tortellini from 1995 all right guys here's our contents for our 1995 kosher halal cheese tortellini and tomato sauce you've got your main entree cheese tortellini and tomato sauce you've got your cherry beverage base you got your lemon pound cake, you have peanut butter, accessory packet, you have your spoon, flameless ration heater, applesauce, and your pack of crackers. Alright, let's get this onto the tray and we'll start checking this stuff out. So we'll go ahead and get our entree opened up. I'm so excited. This is so cool to be the first one looking at a ration like this. I didn't even know this thing existed. Take a look at that. All right, we'll get our flameless ration heater opened up.
All right, we got our flameless ration heater opened up. Let's slide our cheese tortellini down in there. And I've got my salt water on standby here. Let's see if we can get this flameless ration heater to work. In 1995. plenty of water. Let's see if this thing will work. Let's see if you guys can hear that. This thing's starting to cook. Wow. It's definitely getting hot. Alright, I'm going to slide this back in our box. up over here all right while that's heating up we'll go ahead and take a look at the rest of our contents here let's go ahead and get our drink mixed up we've got our cherry beverage base bet you that's got some nice red dyes in it all right it says to add this to a half a canteen cup of water so let's go ahead and dump that into our canteen Give it a half a canteen cup of water. Looks about right to me. We'll get our spoon out and give it a stir. That drink smells awesome. It smells really strongly of cherry. All right, let's check out our accessory pack. And check out our contents. We've got our Red Taster's Choice. We have Cream Substitute, Dry Non-Dairy, Domino Sugar, 6 grams, Wet Nap, Iodized Salt. Got your U.S. Issue Butt Ration, Lighthouse, Standard Issue Matches, D.D. Bean and Sons, Strike on Back, White Tip, Tabasco Sauce, which looks perfect. And here's your chiclets. Alright, let's take a look at the rest of this stuff. Let's take a look at our applesauce. This ought to be a good judge of how this thing is held up. And our flameless ration heater over there is kicking butt right now, which is awesome. All right, let's check out our applesauce. Okay, here's our applesauce. Let's get this out onto the tray. Well, that actually looks pretty good. All right, we got our applesauce out. It looks good. Let's check out our pound cake next. And give that a sniff. Oh, wow, that smells really good. I'd say that's a pretty good-looking pound cake. It's glistening. It's definitely got a lot of sugar in it. Let's see if we can hear a hiss on our crackers. Nice. Really good hiss. There's your crackers, and they smell amazing. All right, now we got to check out our peanut butter. We'll give that a knead. All right, I gave our peanut butter a knead there. I'm going to get this opened up and put it out onto the cracker and check it out. Here's our peanut buddy. All right, now we'll check out our Red Taster's Choice coffee. The coffee just didn't make it. There it is. We've got our dry molded taster's choice. All right, we'll just wait on our entree to heat up and we'll try this stuff out. All right, that flameless ration heater was kicking some butt over there. One thing I know about these old flameless ration heaters is they kind of make a, a mess. So we'll get our napkins out to clean up the entree once we get it out. It's actually a good little bit of a teepee there. Not bad. All right, let's get our entree out. Take a look at it. Yeah, that thing is uh, still smoking hot. Flameless ration heater worked really, really well. I'm super, super happy with that. All right, let's get this out onto the tray. 
Of course, I've got it upside down. Mmm, that smells really good. All right, our cheese tortellini, it looks amazing. It smells amazing. And we're going to try that out. I've already got my Tabasco sauce opened up over here. We'll get you a good look at that cheese tortellini from 1995 right there. All right, down the hatch. Wow, that is surprisingly fresh. That tastes probably better than the modern cheese tortellini, to be quite honest. All right, let's try a little bit with some Tabasco sauce. All right, there we go with Tabasco sauce. That Tabasco sauce really added a kick to it, I'll tell you that. I'm going to wash that down with our cherry drink. All right, that tastes exactly like cherry Kool-Aid. That's exactly what it reminds me of growing up, cherry Kool-Aid. That's a perfect description for that. But I think this could probably handle having a little bit of salt. Try us a bite with a little bit of salt. Mmm. Yeah, buddy. Salt really helped that out. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, next thing I'm going to try is our applesauce. Get you a good look at that applesauce there. It's pretty brown, just about as brown as a spoon, I would say. All right, here we go, down the hatch. Oh, wow. That's tangy. It tastes like it's got a little bit of spice to it. A little bit of cinnamon. Maybe even a little bit of nutmeg. That's actually really, really good. Mmm. I'll be finishing all this. For sure. Alright, next thing I'm going to try is our crackers. Just try the cracker. Those are fresher than some crackers that I've had in a 2014 MRE. Alright, we'll try our peanut butter. We'll try our peanut butter. Alright, down the hatch. That is some really good peanut butter, man. That's just... I'm still amazed at how well this has held up. Everything's been fantastic. So the last thing I got to try is this lemon pound cake. Break a piece off there after I... Check that out. That just looks amazing, doesn't it? Alright, here we go. Mmm. That right there is thick. It's very it's got a very strong lemon taste. Creamy. It's that's an amazing dessert. Man, I'm telling you what, that thing tastes awesome. All this has been awesome. And I want to try out this wet wipe because I know my buddy Steve, he likes these wet wipes with the black like this on them. Oh, they do. They have a unique smell to them. I'll say that. This thing's still nice and moist, and it smells amazing. Mm. So this has really been an awesome experience. I've gotten to try out the first tan bag MRE, kosher, halal, menu number 12, cheese tortellini. This has been a great exploration of this menu with you guys. I never expected this thing to be from 1995. Honestly, I thought we would open it up and it'd be from 2005. But to my surprise, we opened it up and it was from 1995. I'm overjoyed. This has been one of the funnest MREs I've ever reviewed. But I still have to try out the gum. Of course, our uh, coffee wasn't no good, but hey, it happens. Let's check out our gum real quick. Yeah, that's good gum. That's the gum that you would expect in an MRE. It's typical MRE gum. That nice, like a spiced applesauce. We got our... Kind of, it, it almost had a little vanilla hint to it. Nice and creamy lemon pound cake. Freshest 20-some-year-old crackers I've ever had. The cheese tortellini is perfect, which I want to eat it before it gets too cold. And the peanut butter was amazing. And even the cherry drink is good. All right, guys, what a fun MRE to review with you guys. This thing has been just absolutely awesome. I never expected it to be from 1995, but hey, what a great surprise. I'm so happy to be able to share this with you guys and for the surprise for myself even. Keep coming back for more. I've got some awesome rations to review. And I'll see you guys on the next one.
Later.